Hey guys, Owen. What up, Benny? Um, I just said, what up, Benny? What up, Benny? Let's start again. <laughs> hey guys, uh, Owen and Benny here. Hello. <laughs> um, <laughs> so our scripture lesson this week was from uh, Luke. We're talking about John the Baptist. Last week, we John was born. This week, he's like 25 years old, and he's out in the middle of the wilderness. And a bunch of people are coming out to him to be baptized. And this is the first thing that he says to them. You brood of vipers! Who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? <laughs> they hung around just for the show, I think. Just for the show. That's what happens if you eat locusts and honey and live in the wilderness for long enough. I'm going to hurry back. Anyway. But so basically the point is, uh, that sort of thing freaks us out. Like we don't even want to talk about it. Uh, he keeps proclaiming our need to repent uh, as we enter into this community that God is creating uh, through the baptisms that he's doing. Um, and it's sort of, we don't like the idea of repenting. Because if, if we were 70 years ago and someone told us we needed to repent, we would have said, yeah, okay, that's cool. Yeah. I, don't, I don't follow the rules. I know that. I'm a terrible person. Um, but nowadays, we don't, like, we don't judge ourselves based on any sort of arbitrary set of standards. We judge ourselves based on each other. So I might say, for instance, well, I'm not that bad, or at least I'm not as bad as Benny. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> and ironically, I think about the fact that I'm not as bad as Owen. And it's interesting because we we think of ourselves, and there's so many self-help books out there that are telling you that you're okay. I'm okay, you're and okay. Exactly. And that, you know, we define ourselves based on other people. And it's... I think you're exactly right. It's hard for us to hear, but I actually had a few minutes to kind of digest it while you're talking and while after you preach. And the fact that, you know, I've been talking to our Sunday school class about the fact that, you know, keep your eyes on the baby, the baby, the baby, you know, look at Jesus. And, you know, I never thought about the fact that maybe we need to, in order to do that, that we may, may need to let go of something or we may need to forgive someone else so that our hearts can be united in the way that God planned it for it to Yeah, be. and that, I mean, a lot of times when we hear people talk about repenting, what we assume that they mean is we want you to feel really crappy about yourself. Like, beat yourself up, flog yourself, whatever, you know, hum. <laughs> um, but repenting really is it's an action, it's a, it's a letting go action. It's saying, um, you know, this is a burden that I have, this is something that I'm holding on to that I can't let go of, and by repenting, by offering that to God, we, we really are freed to live in a very different way uh, with God and with each other. In fact, we talk about um, today sort of this thing that we do. Um, it's called cognitive dissonance. Did it just run out? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <coughs> we were going someplace good. <laughs> we'll be right back, okay? Just hang tight. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, sorry about that. Some, someone just happened with the camera, but that's cool. Alright, so we're talking about uh, this thing that psychologists call cognitive dissonance. And basically, cognitive dissonance is when we do something or we encounter a situation where uh, we are second guessing ourselves or uh, we do something that goes against our best understanding of ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we, <clears throat> we tell ourselves. You're a psychology all. major. <laughs> well,. Uh, and we tell ourselves all the time that, you know, to feel good about certain decisions that we make, we justify our decisions by our emotions. And sometimes that can be a very dangerous practice. Yeah. So, for instance, well, we use several examples, but um, which one should we use? <laughs> the, the baby thing, I don't think, is going to be... Gonna no, it apply. Okay, ba the, here's one. So, you, some, one of your friends asks you for a favor, and you say, I can't do that favor right now. Um... So, there are ways that you respond to that, because you know that you should have done the favor, but you just didn't want to do it. So one way you can handle that is by changing your behavior, going back and doing the favor. The other two things though, the first is making excuses. So, I'm too busy to do a favor, I know that I couldn't do the favor because I'm too busy. And that friend should have known that I was too busy to do the favor, so now I'm actually mad at that friend. For That's the third one, yeah. justification, yeah. right? And so when we do these things, and we do it all the time, if you just start thinking about I mean, last night I was laying in my bed thinking about a guy who was tailgating me on the way home. And I was thinking, you know, 
don't rush me, don't get behind me, I was going to speed limit, you know, I bet that guy's parents really hate him, you know, I mean, you just, <laughs> yeah. if you start doing it, we do it all the time, we justify our decisions that we make, even good ones, um, but when we do that, we, we sort of construct walls between us and the other person, we have to build ourselves up and tear them down in order to feel better about our decision. And the way that God calls us to be is very simple. We're making this, you know, sometimes maybe even more difficult than it should be is the way that we just let go of that and do that first thing, which is if you know you should have done the favor, go do the favor. Yeah. And if you need to forgive somebody, forgive them. And if you need to be loved, open yourself up because we love you. We love you. We awesome. love you, we love you, <laughs> we love you. I wish I could be there with you, but I'm not in the song. That's right. <laughs> As usual, Sunday afternoon always equals an interesting sort of experience with me. <laughs> okay, that's... <laughs> We're going to go now on that note. Uh, you guys have a good week. Most of you are uh, either in the throes of or wrapping up exams. So, um, blessings on you as you do. And come see us, because... Christmas, yeah. Christmas party is the 21st, 7, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, at the Coates' like house. Show up early, stay late. I'm Free sure they food. won't mind at all. Then he's going to sing for you and dance. Oh, stop. I said that's good. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>